Hey everyone, it's Job. I hope you're doing well. Today we have a lovely haul from Galen Leather. I am extremely, extremely excited, but I probably should preface this by saying that these were sent over to me by Galen Leather. It's not a sponsored video, but I thought I would uh, say this, but obviously all of my thoughts and opinions are my own. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. So first of all, I thought there was a handwritten letter to me, but this is actually so creative. This is still a handwritten le letter from Eunice of Galen Leather, but it's actually like photocopied so uh, on some really good paper and yeah it looks so um it looks so personal and i think it's such a nice touch you also get the evil eye charm which i love that i'm gonna put on like some keys or something and then some lovely teas we have an earl grey tea some coffee and then this lavender scented wipe which was really nice and then this leather tag which i think is a really lovely freebie and it comes with a postcard as well and it comes all in that black canvas pouch which is such a nice touch what a big freebie for this company i really like it and i actually enjoyed the tea a lot it's a standard earl grey and then the coffee i have yet to try but um, it should be good but yeah we're gonna open the first item drum roll yes it's so nice this is the brown leather zippered 10 slot pen case in brown so i was really trying to decide which one i should get because Gale leather is I don't know, I think they're really famous for their crazy horse leather, which you'll see in a little bit. I did a comparison to my older A5 zip folio with the crazy horse leather, but I wanted a sleek and smooth leather that, you know, wouldn't age like as fast as a crazy horse leather. The crazy horse leather, if you have never seen it before, is very similar to Traveler's Notebook leather in which it will scuff up and get marks really easily it'll really uh show its um its patina really quickly and age very quickly and i thought i would kind of change things up because i have a lot of notebooks that have that type of leather characteristic and i thought i would you know try something out and i really enjoyed how uh sleek this leather is it's very smooth and Unlike my other notebooks, it is um, like an in-between shade between like natural leather, like aged natural leather and like a camel -y color. It's almost like um, the Camel Traveler's Notebook and the brown one had a baby and it's this shade. Uh, but yeah, this is a 10 slot pen case. I have about, I think maybe 18 or 17 fountain pens in my collection um, and you know, I'm trying my best not to ink them all, and so I'm keeping all of my currently inked pens here with some exception to some pens that are currently in pen loops in notebooks, but I thought this would be like a nice way to keep my my pen collection um, at bay, or at least my inked pen collection at bay, so I don't have like all 18 of them inked. Um, but yeah, this is a lovely fountain pen um, case. I tried different fountain pens that i have in different sizes i think my largest pen right now is the uh, twisby vac 700 r iris it's pretty long and it's pretty thick um, definitely not like the thickest pen out there but the ecos are pretty thick too i also put some lamy safaris in there and then as you can see the pilot prayer that i just slipped in is tiny and also my small sailor pro gear pro it's hard to say pro gear slim mini i always want to say um gopro for some reason gopro no not gopro slim mini um sailor pro gear slim mini fits in there too and i love how compact it is and i don't know there's something about this pen case when it's fully zipped up and filled with pens that's just oddly satisfying it's like really thick but it feels really protective i'm also showing you how you can also store it so it distributes like the top heavy caps um evenly so you have some of the caps facing um on the bottom i didn't keep it like this for too long but i just wanted to show you so it zips a little bit more evenly this is just a quick comparison between the Galen leather brown leather versus the crazy horse leather from Galen leather i think both are actually very similar um like shades of brown but the amazing characteristic of the crazy horse leather is that it has these 
wonderful not cracks but like the grain um, of it um, kind of shows the lighter brown underneath um, and also it scratches a lot more easily and it will age and patina a lot more easily than this kind of smooth leather that's probably coated or treated um, with something on top that's a little bit more protective because just like the Midori Traveler's notebook has um, that suede like um, characteristic to the leather the crazy horse leather has that same kind of texture it's soft it's very susceptible to scratches but i think that's the charm of it but both of them are equally nice and i think it really depends on your mood or what you're looking for i think both are really nice to have in your collection though because they actually are pretty good matches for each other if you want um, both because they kind of play off of the same brown tone which is really nice uh, but yeah i absolutely love that i have this kind of mini version of the zip folio but this one's dedicated to just pens next up we have drumroll please the galen leather slip and zip four slot zippered pen pouch which is such a mouthful but that name should not fool you it's a really nice and simple and sleek uh, zippered pen pouch I got it in the natural leather which is something that I've never tried from Galen leather before I've always gravitated towards their crazy horse leather because it has that wonderful like characteristic in which it like scratches and patinas easily but I have been a very big natural leather fan especially the natural leather products um, made by the superior labor and brands like that and so I have been trying to grow my natural leather leather uh i guess collection because i love how it looks and i think like moving forward i do want to purchase um, a lot more items in natural leather just because i love that it kind of changes and grows not really grows it changes and morphs with the user that is using it so i have really sweaty hands and so um i seem to patina these uh notebooks and leather items a lot easily um, there's a joke um, on twitch uh, that those with the words chelsea coined patina hands club so we end up patinaing our <laughs> leather items a lot faster just because we have sweaty hands uh, but i love this uh, zippered pen pouch because it has a uh, four pen slot that is similar that uh, to the one that comes with the a5 zip folio that i have you can kind of see it on screen actually um, but it has four pouches it has um, like a leather backing and then the back of this kind of insert is suede microfiber i believe it's actually microfiber not suede um, it's very similar texture to suede um, and yeah i think it's a really nice way to capture not capture i guess hold um, your pens in place and so they don't touch and i think um, well, I can actually confirm that uh, you can fit these pens and fit a whole bunch of pens behind it in this zipper pouch. Right now, I'm just showing you uh, the natural leather um, compared to my other natural leather items. So you can tell that the Galen leather natural leather is definitely not vegetable tan. So um, sometimes I mix up the difference between like veg tan leather and natural leather. This is definitely undyed leather. I think the Yokohama notebook from Atelier Phileas has some slight treatment to it because it has a nice um, slight tan. That might just also be from like my use of it, but I don't think it is because it came very similar to that shade already. Um, but yeah, I'm showing you that you can fit some samples behind it, but I can confirm that you can uh, fit a whole bunch more in this pen case. Um, I actually have um, a set of mild liners behind but i'm also showing you that you can put like your glasses in here which i don't know if you would but um yeah it's really versatile and if you don't want to carry the insert it actually is um a really nice option for a pen case that is flat it's pretty sleek um it's not gusseted in any way um so it's just like um i don't want to say like a pancake uh, of leather but pretty much like a you know slim folder like construction um so you can't fit too much um but if you want uh, like a more minimalist pen setup i think that one would work for you last but certainly not the least we have the galen leather hobonichi weeks mega cover in natural leather again i am so obsessed with natural leather as you can tell and so i wanted a weeks cover to go with that i actually only have a regular hobonichi weeks not the weeks mega but i'm happy that i have the flexibility to use a weeks mega in this cover this cover is unique in that it's actually also marketed as the 
traveler's notebook regular size zipper insert so you can use this inside a traveler's notebook as like an insert because if you're accustomed to the traveler's notebook system you know that most of the covers specifically the ones that are made by traveler's company don't have any like pockets or zippers or any pouches built into the actual notebook cover and so a lot of people buy like um third party um i guess items to to add that zippered pouch or pocket into their notebook so this can actually be used for that i don't intend to use um this cover for that reason but it's good to know that i can i did have some not um issues but i was just a little bit worried with how this notebook will close because it doesn't have a closure um it's more of like a true notebook cover but i think with use the leather will soften up a little bit and kind of mold to my weeks cover uh just because right now it's kind of standing up right like not really upright it's just not closing as um seamlessly or as flush to um, the cover as i would have liked attention this is joe from the future i just want to say that this cover actually ended up doing what i was hoping it would do uh the leather softened up a little bit and the cover is a little bit more flush to the cover of the hobonichi and i think the weight of my twisby eco fountain pen actually keeps the cover shut a little bit more so my concern with having no closure is kind of not really a concern anymore because it fits nicely Another feature that I like about this notebook cover is that it has two slots for the weeks to slide into. We have a slot on both sides that is closer to the spine and one that's a little bit further away from the spine. I guess it really depends on the size of your notebook. So in theory, I should be placing my weeks, not the weeks mega, in the slot that is closest to the spine since it has um, not as thick of a notebook like the the weeks regular is not as thick as the week's mega and so it would work well in the center or middle um, slots but you can also put in the one that's further away if you have like a thicker notebook like the week's mega but i actually prefer having it in the further uh further away slot i feel like i'm using really bad terminology but you you know what i mean um, just because it's easier to open and close and i was actually toying around with the idea of putting my cover on cover of my weeks on there so i can admire my cover on cover which i absolutely love which has the lily of the valley and also have a leather cover because i don't know about you i love like the hobonichi like nylon covers and the cover on covers but nothing beats like a leather cover for me just because i love seeing um the leather age and change whereas you can't really see that on the plastic because it just ends up being damaged instead of like aging uh, but i know you know some people have different preferences and um it's kind of like clothes for your notebook if you think about it but yeah i've been enjoying this cover a lot i have yet to bring it on like a journaling day outside um or keep it on my backpack but it's definitely starting to patina already and i can't wait to actually change up what i'm using my hobonichi weeks for this is just a little bit of a hint but i actually haven't been using it that much for health tracking which is a little bit sad um but i do want to kind of revamp how i use this notebook system because i absolutely love uh the hobonichi weeks and i can't wait uh to use it in 2022 since i do have a spring start hobonichi weeks and yeah we'll see where that takes us uh i think that's it for today I hope you enjoyed seeing and hearing my opinions about these three Galen Leather items. Uh, let me know which one is your favorite and if you have a Galen Leather product and which one you have because I genuinely would love to know. I actually have five Galen Leather items now so I'm a proud Galen Leather product dad and I can't wait to see how these natural leather items will change. I'll definitely give you guys an update um, in a few months uh, or so. But again, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Please give it a like or comment down below um, if you have any questions or concerns. Maybe not concerns, just kidding, you can. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Please take care. I love you so much. Bye-bye.